from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Saturday evening. It was another nice day across the region. Made it climb up into the upper 80s and lower 90s out there. Topped out at 92 here in Lubbock and out there right now. A beautiful <laughs> evening still here across the area. A live sky view now from our Overton East camera. You see nothing but blue skies. A few clouds out there. We had some more earlier. Those have since fallen apart across our area, but they'll be back as we head to the overnight hours. On off to our north and west. A couple of showers and storms there thanks to the monsoonal moisture over portions of eastern New Mexico. But back here with us, we are dry, but some more rain back up towards Colorado in the Four Corners region. That's going to move its way into our neck of the woods as we head later into your Sunday and early Monday morning. But for the remainder of the night tonight, things should remain dry. Going to see those clouds increase as we head into the overnight hours by 10 p.m. 80 degrees, 77 at midnight with cloudy skies across the area. But again, no rain to worry about, so that is the good news. As we time out tonight, you can see those clouds returning, maybe a couple of sprinkles near Portales or Clovis there in eastern New Mexico, but most of us remaining dry. That will remain the case as we go throughout the day on Sunday. Now, as we head into Sunday afternoon into the evening hours, that's when our next disturbance begins to work its way towards our area. You can begin to see a few showers and storms popping up around 6 p.m. here on Sunday. As we progress later in time, those storms moving on, becoming more widespread into our area early Monday morning. So this is Monday morning around 2 a.m. Don't be surprised to be woken up by maybe a rumble of thunder or two or a flash of light in there early Monday morning as these showers and storms roll through. But for your Sunday, a little bit warmer than what we saw today. Highs in the middle 90s, 95 Matador, 93 Lubbock, 93 in Brownfield, 95 there in La Mesa, a bit warmer. But we're going to keep those clouds around like we saw again today. So another cloudy day, a, a little bit closer to average though for tomorrow. Now we are going to see that frontal system move through Sunday into Monday. That could bring us around two tenths of an inch of rain here in Lubbock. If we do see some heavier storms, then we could see some higher rainfall rates with that. But after that moves through by Monday evening on into Tuesday, high pressure is going to begin to build back into our area. This ridge building across the country, keeping the jet stream well and off to that our north. And that means it's going to get hot here across our area. You can see that moisture there in the green moving on out of our area once high pressure builds in as we head into the middle of the week on into the weekend. So that means it's going to be dry. It's going to be hot. We're going to see more sunshine and less rain chances. But for tonight, enjoy the cooler temperatures. 69 degrees, a bit breezy at times with so those winds out of the south around 8 to 12 miles an hour. But again, no rain to worry about, but we are going to keep those clouds around. Now for the next seven days, things will be nice the next three or so. 93 by Tuesday, 96 on Wednesday, though. Things really begin to warm up once that uh, high pressure system begins to build back over our region. 97 Thursday, 98 Friday. It's going to get hot again. August may start there on Thursday, Tori, but summer isn't going anywhere anytime soon. We could even see a couple of triple digit temperatures before we get into the weekend next week. We could have some more showers or storms, so maybe Saturday or Sunday, but we'll go ahead and keep an eye on that. That's for definitely you. what I expect in August. It's always that high. Yes. It usually doesn't cool down, <laughs> I feel like, till September, early October. I know, I'm so. crossing my fingers, ready for fall. Me too. All right.